Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to our next bout of the evening. An MMA bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Out of the red corner, Ryan McGee. Staying in the cage for more MMA action. This a 170-pound fight. Making his way to the cage first, Ryan McGee representing the U.S. Army. He's a representative of the Top Notch Fight Academy and making his fight debut. Shadow boxing his way to the cage. A lot of great fighters out of the Top Notch Academy. One of the most notable being Justin J. Train Gonzalez. Unfortunately, had a recent loss, but it was on the one of the biggest stages that you can have as he was fighting in Bellator in Hawaii. Former Sparta champion Ben Lugo over in the corner as well. Good to see him in the building. Spoke with him earlier, said he might have some work coming up in Texas. See him in the cage down there. Training at altitude, he'll feel like Superman at that altitude. Sucking on pure oxygen. And into the cage he goes for his debut. Out of the blue corner, Ty Morton. Out of Grinders MMA and Fitness, also making his debut this evening. Representing the United States Marine Corps. He's a coach for them, Mr. Ty Morton. I'm going to have to be a little biased on this fight. <laughs> <laughs> Semper Fi. Tail of the tape here brings us the 36-year-old McGee versus the 21-year-old Morton. 5'11 and a half. Got to get that half in there for McGee. 5'9 for Morton. And they're both making their debut in the 175, or excuse me, the 170-pound class. I like McGee's style. Balanced versus the style of Morton, which is jujitsu. Still in the elimination division, so will be a continuation of the three three-minute rounds that we have been seeing this evening. Nearing the end of our early preliminary fight card, have one more fight on the early prelims following this bout. Total of 23 fights for our fans this evening. My goodness, that's a lot of matchmaking. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an elimination MMA bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the Leatherneck Heating and Cooling Red Corner. He is a veteran of the U.S. Army. He is a balanced style fighter, standing five foot 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 170 pounds with top-notch sports academy from Broomfield, Colorado. Ryan the Grizzly McGee! Fighting 
out of the Estrella Helico blue corner. His coach is a U.S. Marine veteran. Ooh, <laughs> He's a jiu-jitsu style fighter, standing five foot nine inches tall. He weighed in at 167.8 pounds with Grinders Fitness out of Henderson, Colorado. Ty Jammer Martin! Okay, gentlemen, I instruct you jewelry tonight. Fight clean and fair and protect yourself. Questions out of the red corner? Questions out of the blue corner? Touch gloves, gentlemen. Let's fight. Army versus Marines and a lot of intensity in that stare down. This has the potential to be the fight of the night. Yes. Both these guys looking ready to bring it. McGee wearing the red tape on his gloves. Morton has the blue tape and is on the receiving end of an early head kick. Took a well and then eats a couple of punches well. So Morton showing early that he has a chin. Committed to the takedown is Morton. Able to get up. McGee worked hard for a while battling that takedown, but finally Morton able to wrestle him down. Morton lists himself as the jiu-jitsu fighter. Let's see how his top game plays out here. Immediately looking to improve his position is Morton. Along with working toward positional advantage, utilizing strikes as well. Morton teeing off. Big strikes coming down for Morton. McGee coming up, Morton continues. McGee tries to sit up and come out of it. Morton with the control, goes back to the hard striking. McGee's got a deep cut right over his right eye. This is close to being finished. Referee Tim Mills in there taking a good look at it. Morton just pounding away and that's gonna be it. Oh, might, might it be a shot to the back of the head? I'm not, uh, nope, gonna have the doctor take a look at the cut. You reference that cut, then Morton threw a couple other strikes. One of them landed very solidly right on that cut. Now the doc's gonna take a look at it because it is right over the eye. What they'll worry about is the blood going into the eye, messing with your vision. And of course, they don't want anything that would cause any permanent or lasting damage. Doc says, okay, you're good to go. We're not gonna stop it because of the cut. So they'll put him back down in the position that they had been in. We got blood on the commentator booth right yes, now. Yes, we do. And immediately McGee pops to a hip to try to escape, but Morton, knee on belly, gonna secure back control here pretty quick. Has one leg in, wraps, it's wraps under the up chin. the choke. That's tight, Over. that's gonna be it. Congratulations, Mr. Morton. Goes home with the victory, U.S. Marines. <laughs> yes, sir. Got that fight on the ground and just unrelentingly went to work. Him looked like he and his coach tried to do a little dirty dancing maneuver there. <laughs> <laughs> tried to go for the lift, and nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> Dr. Alex Constantinides over taking a look at that cut. There's gonna be some stitches thrown in there before the end of the evening, I'm certain. Checking it out on the replay here. Once Morton attained ground control, he was just unrelenting with the strikes. Good job targeting the strikes. Used it to set up the scramble of McGee trying to improve his position. In doing so, gave up his back ended up on the receiving end of the rear naked choke. Take it up to Stewie, he'll give us the official time of the submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tim Mills called a stop to this fight, one minute, 38 seconds into the first round, due to a submission with a rear naked choke for your winner, Chai Jammer Martin! Congratulations, Mr. Morton. Give us a moment again. We're going to swing it back over to the ring as we finish off our early preliminary card with Muay Thai action. <laughs> 